Hi. Um, my name is Vaughn Clark. I'm a nutritional therapist and I work with people who are recovering from overeating, um, binge eating, uh, graze eating, want to lose weight. Um, and um, I have been talking to a lot of people recently who are really struggling um, with this idea of uh, you know, a long term surrender to um, a change in the way that, w way that we eat. And I was thinking back um, on my own story and um, I remember when I was first, you know, um, given a food plan or worked on a food plan with a lady and I was going out for dinner that night and I said to her, oh, I'm going out for dinner tonight, like, you know, you know I'm going to fail at the first meal. And she said, that's fine. Go and ask the chef for this much potato, this much veg, this much meat. And, um, and I thought, Jesus, there's no way I can do that. What will they think about me? I'm, I look strange, I look weird. Uh, what would all the people I'm having dinner with think about me? Uh, but I did it. Um, I just had about an, enough willingness to do it for one meal. And I did it. And then the next morning I got up for breakfast and I did what she suggested I have, you know, I did for breakfast. And then I did what was suggested for lunch. And I happened to be flying home from New Zealand to Ireland that day. And I thought, I'm never going to get through this. But I just took one meal at a time. And that was always my approach. Um, just just for today, can I do this just for today? And if I got to the end of the day and I hadn't, you know, um, uh, gone crazy on food, binged, you know, binged on all sorts of things or eaten off my plan, that was a good day. No matter what else happened, as long as I was on my plan, it was a good day. And um, those days just um, grew into weeks and months and years. And back in those early days, I couldn't have seen what it was going to be like in a year's time or a, you know, five years time or 10 years time. I couldn't have seen the freedom that was coming. Um, all I could feel was the pain of um, not using my drug, if you like, on a daily basis to numb the feelings. So um, this idea of keeping it in the day was crucial for me, you know, crucial for me to get through those early days. You know, I didn't know if I'd surrendered long term. I didn't know if I'd be able to, I didn't know how long I was going to be able to do this for. I remember even up to two years, I remember thinking, God, you know, I could, I could still relapse I could still go back to my old ways I could still I still didn't think I had it I still was terrified of, of slipping back into my old behaviors but as I got some time up and as the freedom came I just it just became easier and easier and as I um, you know I got such a distance from being in the food being in that sort of stuck in that cycle of you know binge eating and um, um, feeling sick the next day and depressed and miserable I just enjoyed feeling free and um, having a clear head so much that uh, eventually the thought of going back to food was you know I, I just wouldn't do it now even if I could I don't think I, I wouldn't want to go there so um, this is for people who are really struggling with um, this idea like of surrendering forever you know it, just for today I just need to do it just for today and I use that in other areas of my life as well uh, with my husband uh, some days when I'm feeling challenged by him he's learning teaching me new things I go just for today I can do this just for today um, I can be tolerant loving honest just for today or even as a parent with my children I can be patient just for today or I can do my work just for today you know it breaks it down into manageable size bits um, so I hope that makes it easier for some people who are really struggling um, you know, with the early days or even maybe you've been doing this for a good while and you're facing challenges which you're finding really tricky um, you know, we need to just get through one day at a time um, so I'll leave it at that take care